Rosie Burbrains here and today I will introduce you to the amazing Apply Peg Transformation Node. So, meet the Apply Peg Transformation Node, which we will call APT from now on because it's easier to say. <laughs> this node is every compositing artist's best friend, and if it's not already, trust me, it will be after this video. So it's a pretty simple node to use. What it does is basically allow you to create a lightweight copy of any element node you connect on this side, and then move it with any transformation node you want to connect on the other side. We'll get to that little insertion point in another video because it's not that common of use and it's a bit more complex so I'll just skip it for now and focus on the two main, so the transformation port and the image port. So let's say I want to make a copy of uh, this drawing. So you just take your node, you connect it here and then you connect it a second time via the apply peg transformation. So now both my images are on top of each other. So if I take a peg whoop, and connect it here I'll just set my pivot to the right place and then if I move it, I will now have two copies of my drawing. So how is this different than just taking your drawing, copy pasting it and connecting the peg to it? Now you have two copies. So, I mean, if you have only one layer, I guess it's, it's all right. It's the same in terms of performance and rendering speed. However, I just believe it's cleaner to use the apply peg transformation even if you have one node because if somebody else, or if you in a few months uh, reopen your scene and you want to know what's going on in there, at least you'll understand that this is compositing. Like it, it just stops you from having too many of your drawing layers in your scene that can get confusing. So the apply peg transformation would be only for uh, your compositing matters. But if we're talking about a rig, now there is a real big difference. So if I have a rig, let me get Z's rig here and connect it. If I want to make a copy of my rig, of course I can just um, make a copy then connect it and, and take the same peg I've been using since the beginning and connect it here and I'll have my copy. And since it's a copy, uh, the functions are linked, so I mean it will follow, so it works. However, in terms of node count, if I go and see uh, this here, I have all these nodes for Harmony to calculate and in the copy I have the same amount of nodes for Harmony to calculate, which will considerately slow your machine down if you have a lot of those. So instead of making a copy of my rig, I'll just go get my loyal apply peg transformation node and do the same trick I've been doing with the drawing. Connect it here, go take the peg, put it here, and now I have my copy. And in terms of node count, I have all the nodes of my rig, and then this one. So then Harmony only has to calculate one time the rig, and then one time this node, and you have the exact same results with quicker rendering time. So this node is used in compositing for various things, such as uh, creating a tone, for example, on your character like a little tone here, and since it's basically shading the character with itself, uh, if I move a piece of my character, um, the shading will follow because it's shaded with itself, which is pretty useful. Also, if I want to make a shadow on the ground, I can go get a quad map, put it here, and then just go get a copy of my rig and just put it down like that. Make it show up behind my character, and add a shadow node to it because you know how lazy I am and then voila you have your drop shadow but don't forget especially if you're compositing using rigs usually you want to put a little composite right before your effect so you can flatten your character and there you have it you have a little shadow system that you can use for anything because if I replace the rig by the crown drawing I had earlier you'll get the exact same effect. So I hope this video was helpful and that from now on you'll be using the Apply Peg Transformation node instead of making copies of everything uh, in your scene. And I can't wait to see what you do with it. So have a nice day.